Hey, all right, everybody. I'm back for round two on uh, Saturday, this Saturday the 25th, uh, San Antonio. I'm Pastor David G. Grogan Sr. I'm the senior pastor at Sojourner Life Ministries in San Antonio, Texas, and I am the voice of Finishes Javelin. Um, got a one of those um, uh, uh, blocks of stories. Uh, I'm actually only going to read one. But I got five headlines, and of course, because we're living in a time where, um, you know, I, I believe in my heart, y'all beyond a shadow of a doubt, that people have totally become desensitized to the babies, to the children. I love kids. I mean, like I have six grandkids. I love kids because, you know, when you watch them, there's so much. There's so much of the. There's so much for the future. Um, I don't care, you know, what condition they are, what color they in. God brings a soul, and He wraps a soul in flesh because of the sin, because of the fall of humanity. You know, that sin can, can sometimes be sick or it can sometimes be malformed. But the soul that's inside that flesh remains the same. And so, you know, I, I, I've, uh, uh, the Lord has put on my heart, you know, we are, um, because we are souls, we are living beings um, animated by the breath of God. Um, our babies are animated by the breath of God. Those babies that are in the womb are animated by the breath of God. And to be so hateful and so cruel to where that if you can't kill them in the womb, you'll kill them outside of the womb. And people have become so desensitized, y'all, with 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 um, just life uh, and especially life for the children because of the whole abortion thing. And now, of course, this week where everybody's in, in an uproar, the heathen are raging, as in my last video about the overturning of their statue, Roe v. Wade. Um, now here we are. Um, I, I have some. I have some. Some. Um, some headlines uh, about how dangerous. It, how dangerous it is for y'all for the babies, the poor little ones, in in our country. And, and uh, granted, um, I would even assume around the globe uh, because people are evil. No matter where you go, there's evil people. There's good people. Not everybody's no. Not everybody's evil. But with all that said, no matter what happens, when after after the end of their doings, after the end of their evil deeds have been done, if they go unrepented um, for their sin that they have done, and God will always know the sincerity of our heart, y'all. He always knows the sincerity of our heart. So if you if they go um, unrepentant and they die in their sin. Um, they have not gotten away. They're still going to be judged. God, God is the just judge, and we and we will all stand before God to receive our reward or receive our condemnation. And so this is the this is the beauty of, of of. And then with these poor babies, of course, when they die, you know, throughout this video, I'm going to have the pictures of the um, the uh, the poor little babies, if I can, those that have gone home back home to be with the Lord. They died in their innocence. There was a shedding of their innocent blood. Um, and so they went back home to be with the Lord. That's a beauty of uh, the grace of God, the, his awesome holiness and righteousness and love that he has, that when these poor babies die, he brings them back home to be with him in his glory. And they never have to worry about being in, um, the, uh, 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 in the face of death ever again because they'll be with him in his glory. So when these things happen to these poor babies, it's, it's a terrible thing that happens. Yes, it is. But praise be to God who gives us the victory through Christ Jesus. These, these little ones um, are back in his arms and where they came from. Um, um, and all of us have the ability to make, to choose if we're going to go back home to be with God, or if we're going to go uh, a, a different, a separate way. But no matter where you go, once again, uh, you will be found. You will be found out. So these people that do these wicked things, they do not get away. Okay, so let me, let me share first of you. I'm going to share these five headlines and I'm going to read one of them. And then uh, we're going to go to the scripture and I'm going to read a little bit. And, you know, because we're talking about, you know, Lord has put on my heart, you know, the, the word, things that, something that people don't want to talk about. I don't want to hear about that. I don't want to hear about hell. You know, I'm a Christian. I don't have to worry about that. I don't want to hear about it. You need to hear about it because you need to be reminded of what can happen if you turn from your righteousness to wickedness. And then you need to know about what's going on. So those people that are out there living their lives full of hell, you need to understand the danger and the death that they are facing and you should have a you should have a loving desire to pull them out of the flames of fire by introducing them to the gospel of Jesus Christ. He alone has the power to deliver a man or a woman, the two sexes, male or female, from hell's fire. No one else can do that. You can't do it yourself. Your friends can't do it. Your parents can't do it. 
your 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 education, your money, your fame can't do it. If you die in unrepentant sin, hell will be your home for an eternity. And 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 and, and believe me, when it's, when you die, if you die before Christ comes back, you will be found. He knows exactly where you're at. We talk about that here in just a couple of minutes. Let me go ahead. So these five headlines. First first headline. Grandmother charged with murder after murder after girl, three years old, was found dead in a trash can. And that happened June. Uh, that story came out June 23rd, 2022. Second headline in 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 uh, in home nurse allegedly high on meth charged with murder after three year old dies in her care. June the 23rd, 2022. Three year old boy found dead in in Massachusetts pond in mass in a Massachusetts pond after disappearing from babysitter's yard June 16 2022 uh babysitter accused of murdering Michigan toddler quote she threw my son into the wall unquote says mom that's the story that we're going to read about that happened 20 uh, June 24th 2022 and finally a South Carolina dad sentenced, sentenced to life in prison after ju after jury finds him guilty of murdering his five-year-old son June 21st, 2022. That's when that came out. I'm, I, I haven't read the whole story. I believe it actually happened sometime back, but he finally went to trial and he's going to get his um, up and comings. Okay. So out of these three institutions, if these people that had that did these things to these babies, if they don't repent of their sin, y'all, and get saved, because they can go to jail for, for a life, you know, go to jail for a short period of time, you know, but even in jail, they can be saved. That's the beauty of waking up, having a breath, God's breath to wake up to in the morning time. And his grace, unmerited favor, the free gift that he gives any human that will come to him, his grace, if they determine that they want to be saved. He will save you, forgive you of your sins if you ask for forgiveness and save you from eternal damnation. But that's a choice that you make. And when we are talking about these beautiful little babies... And the way that some of these people are destroying life, they have gotten so in, 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 in desensitized, as I said before, they have gotten so desensitized with life because abortion and the whole thought of babies just being a pain, babies just being in a way, babies, you have to feed them, you have, you have to listen to them when you want quiet. And now in the time where we live in, where people are so, so, so wound so tight, y'all, the each generation gets worse than the one before it. They get so wound. They lay down. The girls lay down. They open up their legs. The guys get down in between them and they have these. They can see these babies. And then when they're tired of them, they don't want to hear them crying. You know, the babysitters don't want to care for them. The grandparents don't want to care for them. What do they do? Their best thing they do. Well, I will just kill them because I won't get in that much trouble because, you know, they're aborting babies. And this is a hypocrisy of these heathens. Most of the time, these are liberals that are doing this. These are liberals that are killing these babies. These are liberals, y'all. And then, and, and then they got the nerve, the, the ones that are putting them in jail, you know, they got the nerve to allow the doctors and the nurses and the women that are aborting their children go free. They're just as much a murderer as these women are. You've heard me say it before. They are just, the doctors that, that murder, that abort these babies, they're just as much a murderer as these people that kill these babies outside the womb. They're murderers. You can call it abortion if you want to. You can holler and cry and yell and spit on me and do everything you want to. You're a murderer. You're a dark, deceptive, rotten murderer. But you can still be saved. You can still be saved, but you have to choose who you're going to serve so you can be saved. All right, let me go ahead and read the story. Let me get my visual accumulators on here. Let me read this one story. So babysitter accused of murdering Michigan toddler. Quote, she threw my son into the wall says the mom uh sub subtitle once i made it there my baby was on the ground having seizure after seizure after seizure the boy's mother terry starks told wjbk tv a babysitter in michigan is behind bars after allegedly murdering a 23 month old boy left in her care wdiv tv Citing um, police reports, 21-year-old Kimora uh, Lanmai Hodges, who had babysat the boy on and off uh, for the past two months, was watching him at his Roseville, Michigan apartment on June 13th while his mother was at work when Hodges allegedly physically abused him. Following the alleged beating, Hodges called the boy's mother, 18-year-old uh, Taylor Starks, 
to tell her he did not appear normal after ingesting soap. Hodges said the boy was having an allergic reaction. Police uh, allergic reaction. Police said a call was reportedly placed to 911 and WJBK TV reports that Starks uh, rushed rushed home. It goes on to say, once I made it, once I made it there, my baby was on the ground having seizure after seizure after seizure. She told the station, the boy was transported to the hospital where he underwent emergency surgery. He had blunt force trauma to the head, and he was bleeding out of his ears and had to uh, move immediately. And had to have and and had to have immediate brain surgery. Stark said, "All I know is she threw my son into the wall and shook him." up and, sh and, and shook him up pretty bad and they said that's just just a bit of what she did to him that's just just a bit of what she did to him according to the outlet uh, Ky uh Kyrie succumbed to his injuries on Wednesday Hodges initial charge of first degree uh, child abuse has now been upgraded to felony murder and an official at M Macomb County's uh, 39th uh, district court tells the people magazine it goes on to say, Starks posted a, tri a tribute to Kyrie on Instagram, uh, writing in part, I'm hurting so bad because you know you were, um, you were my everything. I had you at 16 by myself, and we've been uh, doing this together ever since. We were growing up together. No matter how bad we struggled or was were going through, you never judged me. She continued, I promise to get justice for you, Kyrie, and I promise to make all this, all this mean something. All this means something and worth the pain you endured. Jail records indicate Hodges is currently being held at the Macomb County Jail without bond. Hodges has retained defense attorney Joan Morgan, who did not immediately respond to people against her against uh, uh, a request for a comment. According to the district uh, court, Hodges has not yet in entered a plea to the charges. Um, and she is, she is scheduled to appear on June the 29th. So this woman, and you'll see the picture. I'm going to put her picture in here. You'll see it in this in this article. This is a young woman who killed this baby and the baby's mother who was younger than the babysitter. It's a shame that these children are having these babies. They're, um, they're having um, premarital sex or they might, she I don't know, she might have been married when she had the baby. She had the baby at 16, no. So I kind of doubt she was married and these children are having children. And then they're not able to take care of them. And then they have these devils like this woman right here. She's a devil. She's a devil. She's got the devil in her brain, got the devil in her heart. She's a devil. She's, she's infested. She's got demonic possession, but she can still be saved. She can still be saved. She's not saved. She, but she can be saved. But this is the thing, y'all. These people, they do this stuff. And they harm these little babies. And they hurt people's hearts. You know, uh, um, this child, 16 years old, she, she, she doesn't even know what it means to live life. But yet she was willing to be a mother to her child. And this woman came along and took uh, this woman's child away from her by murdering her, throwing, up, throwing the baby up against the wall and apparently put soap in the baby's mouth and the baby went into seizures and they had brain surgery. They couldn't save the baby. The baby Kyrie uh, went on back to be with God, back in the loving arms of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. Uh, this woman, you, you know, as much evil and darkness as she has done and people like her. Um, I don't hear Black Lives Matter say anything about this. You know, I don't see Maxine Waters hollering and with her old nasty self about this woman, you know, uh, 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 defying this woman for killing that baby. They're not going to do that because it doesn't suit their agenda. Their agenda is to allow as much death and, and anger to come and the much death and rage to come. So this is just par for the course. These young people, these people on the planet nowadays, they have this feeling that they can kill, 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 kill the youth and nobody's going to care. They go to jail, you know, um, but nobody really cares that, about the baby. And then they go to jail and you just got another, you know, here you got another black uh, girl um, off the streets, you know, going to prison for murdering this child. It didn't have to happen that way. But this is what happens because of sin. This is what happens because sin, sin is dark and devious and it's murderous and it destroys. Sin fools and tricks and lies and deceives. Sin and Satan, who is the father of all lies and the Lord of the flies, the prince of the power of the air, he, uh, he takes advantage of weak people like this young woman that killed that baby. 
like all the doctors that are supposed to be wise in their own ways, but they're full of devilishness. Satan is the great deceiver. He's the master liar. And he tells people, you can go ahead and do it. And nobody's going to find out. So they people, they kill babies, they throw them in ponds, they put them in trash cans, put them in dumpsters, try to flush them down toilets. They do all these things thinking that they can do it and get away, get away with it. Nobody's going to see them, but God sees and knows. Hallelujah. God sees all and he knows all. There's nothing that you can do that's going to stop God. And if you die before he could, before Christ comes back, you think maybe you die and you'll just kind of go back to the dirt and nothing will happen. No, you'll be found out. Believe me, you will be found out because God is everywhere. He's omniscient. He's omnipresent. He's omnipotent. There's nowhere you can go where you can hide from God. God knows your very being and you will give an account for your sin, for your murderous ways. It's a shame that we have to read these stories. And this is happening more and more and more. Y'all, there was a time when babies, when children were children were were, were loved and, and and brought up to be the leaders in our communities. And now look at all the leaders, look at the leaders that we have in the community, LGBTQIA all over the political spectrum. You got these devils in entertainment. Um, industry, uh, 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 non-binary and all this crap that they come up with. Got all this stuff, y'all, that's in, that's, that's coming, that's in the land was, that wasn't there before. Yeah, homosexuality has always been around. It was bound, it was, it was, it was, it was around before Christ came. That's why God gave uh, Moses to give to the people about homosexuality, about lesbianism, about witches and, and, and warlocks and necromancy. Everything that God gave Moses, those laws against his people, because he knew that the people were going to get involved in those things when they went into the other countries. And he knew that we would be here in 2022 today, as I'm talking to you. He knew that these people would be getting involved in this stuff. He knew that this woman was going to murder that child. Well, Pastor, why didn't he stop her? Because sin, sin, she had a choice. She had a choice. She had a choice not to do what she did, but she did it because of sin. And now if she doesn't receive uh, salvation, if she doesn't repent of her sin and, and ask the Lord to forgive her of her sin and turn from her wickedness, 180, out from where she's at right now, and she dies in that, she's going to give an account to God for her sin. I got one verse I want to share with you today. One verse. And that verse is out of Job. And it talks about hell. Because the one thing that nobody wants to talk about is hell. Oh, God is love. He wouldn't do that. Yes, yes, God is love. And you, and you cannot love anybody greater than God can. You can't love your spouse. You can't love your children. You can't love anybody greater than God loves because God's love is 100% perfect. It's perfect. Everything about him is perfect, complete. You can't add to it. You can't take away. The one thing about God, though, he's a just God. And he's going to plead the case and he's going to be, he's going to set down the verdict and judge those that kill and murder, shed the innocent blood. You know, shed the blood, steal rape, whoremongers, fornicators, the effeminate, LGBTQIA+, these doctors, lawyers, Indian chiefs that murder these babies and do whatever they want to do and then claim that they have a right to do it. They're all going to come and stand before the just judge. And if they die before his coming, Christ's great coming, they're still going to stand before him because he knows where they're at. You cannot hide from God. Job, the 26th chapter, verse just one verse, verse number six. It says, hell is naked before him and destruction hath no covering. You can't hide. That's Job, the 26th chapter, verse number six. Hell is naked before him and destruction hath no covering. That's the King James Version. The word of God that stands true and will never, never, never fade away. You can't stop him. You can't, you can plead, a, you can try to plead your case in your unrighteousness unrepentant spirit and you will not get away. God is a just judge. And I thank God that he's a just judge. I thank that he's a just judge. I thank God that he he loves us so very much that he sent his son to take all of our sin upon himself nailed to the cross suffered, bled, and died for me. And I take that very seriously and so should you. You should know that when you sin you put it back on that Christ again. Especially listen, if you are the household of faith and you are saved and sanctified and filled with the precious Holy Spirit of the living God, you have no you have no reason to be laden in sin because Christ died for you. If you're, if, if, if you're a backslider, repent of your backslidden ways and come back to the Lord while there's a chance. If you're not saved, get saved while there's a chance because your breath tomorrow morning when you wake up is not promised to you. 
And if you die and you go to hell, that's going to be for an eternity. And hell's going to be a, hell's a terrible place. I'm going to be talking to you relentlessly about hell. These poor babies, these four, these poor babies that are being, that are dying, praise God that they're going straight home to be with God is going. But what about you? Where are you going to end up? If we consider hell beneath, though it is out of our sight, yet we may conceive the instances of God's power there. By hell and destruction, we may understand the grave and those who are buried in it, that they are under the eye of God, though laid out of our sight, which may strengthen our belief of the resurrection of the dead. God knows where to find and whence to fetch all the scattered atoms of the consumed body. Everything, oh my goodness, every portion of you, atoms, your essence, God knows where to find you. You can't hide from God. He knows where to find you. We may also consider them as referring to the place of the damned, where the separate souls of the wicked are in misery and torment. That is hell and destruction, which are said to be before the Lord and here to be naked before him, to which it is, it is probable there is an illusion. Revelations 14 and 10, where sinners are to be tormented in the presence of the holy angels who attended the Shekinah and in the presence of the Lamb. And this may give light to Job 25 and 5 which some ancient um, versions read thus, and I think more agreeably to the significant signification of the word uh, riphium, before the giants groan under the waters and those that dwell with them and, them and then follows. Hell is naked before him, typified by the drowning of the giants of the old world. Jonah, uh, not Jonah, but um, um, Noah, those that died, those great men that died in the flood. They lived their life and they rebelled against God and they 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 blasphemed and they God and they talked about Noah and his family and they did everything they can to try to make him stop doing. That's what Satan does. He does everything he can to try to stop make you serve God. And look where they ended up. The flood came. They weren't that bad because they couldn't swim that long. Too much water for them. God took them out and then made a promise. With the, with the rainbow that he would never flood the earth again. And these LGBTQIA plus people, they have hijacked the rainbow. They might have taken the colors and put them on flags and then banners, but one thing they cannot do is they cannot stop the meaning and the mercy of God. That rainbow says it. He'll never flood the earth again. This time it's going to be fire. It's going to be the fire. It's going to be the fire that's going to burn and it cannot be quenched. It's going to be the fire that you will cry out from the very being of your soul for, to, for, for, for a relief, but you will not find some because you, you have to get it now while well, there's a chance. Hell is a place for the unrepentant, for Satan and the fallen angels. It wasn't created for humanity. It was created for Satan and the fallen angels. But if you want to live like him, act like him, believe like him, rebel against God like him, fight against God like him, then you're going to get his reward. He just recompense for your sin, for your unrighteousness. Behold, the giants groan under the waters and those that dwell with them, and then follows, hell is naked before him, typified by the drowning of the giants of the old world, so, uh, uh, by the drowning of the old world, uh, where, where hell is called the congregation of the dead. And it is, it is the same word which is here used in which he would, have, uh, he would there have re uh, rendered the congregation of the giants. In, a, in, a, in allusion, allusion to the drowning of the sinners of the old world. And is there anything in which the majesty of God appears more dreadful than in the eternal ruin of the ungodly and the groans of the inhabitants of the land of darkness? Those that will not with angels fear and worship shall forever with devils fear and tremble and God therein will be glorified. God will be glorified. What he says is going to happen. It's going to happen. You might you, you don't believe it right now. You, you're not worried about it right now. You're not you're not afraid of it right now. You're not concerned with it right now. You're going to go about doing what you want to do. You're going to you're going to kill and and lie and cheat and fornicate and adulterate. 
you know, and be effeminate. You're going to change your body to do this. You're, you, you, you're non-binary. Your thought processes. You're wiser than God. You're smarter than God. You're smarter than, than mankind. And then when it's all over, when your short, vaporous life is all over and you have to give an account to that very God for your sin, you're going to be knocking your knees and you're going to loose your bowels over the horror that you have denied God his love. When the only thing he wanted to do was give you the very best, but you thought you, what you, who you are was better than God. And so the time's going to come. These murderers, this young woman, I pray that she gets saved while she's in prison. Though that man who, who killed his own son, I pray that he gets saved while he's in prison. And those other three, you know, that did their death and destruction, the girl that's hooked on meth and, and allowed, you know, the baby to, to disappear. You know, these people, y'all, are gonna, gonna, they're going to give an account of their sin. And so will you. And so will I. But the word of God says that if you confess your sins, that you did what you did, and you turn from your wickedness, the word of God says if you confess your sins, that he's faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you of all unrighteousness. If you want to be saved, the word of God says in Romans 10, verse 9 and 10, and then verse number 13, that if you profess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and rose from the dead, the word of God says you shall be saved. Verse number 13 says, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But let me go back because you make the profession with your mouth, but you believe with your heart unto righteousness. God searches your heart. Satan doesn't know your heart. He doesn't know your heart. He only knows he can He can infest your mind. He can watch your doings and and prompt you and push you to do things, but he does not know your heart. And when you pray to God, he doesn't hear your prayers. So you don't have to be afraid of Satan. Satan is a defeated foe. He's a defeated foe, y'all. He's done. He's doomed. Yeah, but he uses people like this young lady and like those others to shed innocent blood, to cuss and to and to rebel and to defy and to do all the evil things they do. And and they do it and they don't even have and they don't have the power to stop him from making them do it. The only way that you can do that is through Christ Jesus. He's the only way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one can come through the Father except through Christ Jesus. Listen to me. I'm about done here today. These poor babies, thank God they're gone home to be with the Lord. But these people, hell is a terrible place, y'all. But even in hell, God knows where you're at. You cannot hide from God. Your ways are ever before him. In the darkest rooms, he sees what you're doing. In the closed doors where there's no cameras, where there's no anything in there, God sees what you're doing. He knows your heart greater than you know your heart. He wants you saved. He loves you. He loves each and every human being on the face of this earth and those that have passed, but he hates our sin. And our sin separates us from God. And if we, 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 we cannot come before a holy God laden with sin without repenting and getting right. But God made a way for us to get back to him. God made a way for us to get back into fellowship with him. And that's through the blood of the lamb, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Y'all, so with all that said, hell is going to be a place of torment and unbelievable uh, suffering and remembering of every opportunity that a person had to get right with God. And they defied. The horror is going to be greater than anyone can take. I believe that in my heart. Okay? So receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today. Be saved. Let him love you. And then you love him back. You're saved. Become that new creature in Christ. Let the old things pass away. Let, the, all, let all things become renewed in your mind and your actions. Bear fruit. Give the gospel to those that need it. Remember how grateful you are going to be when you get saved or you were when you got saved. And share that gladness, that goodness with somebody else. These are dark times, y'all. But Jesus Christ is coming back. He's coming back real soon. No man knows neither the day nor the hour when the Son of Man comes. Only, the, only, only God knows. But when he sends his son back, it's going to be too late for anybody. So let's get right while there's a chance. All right, with that said, God bless you. Um, till we come back together in the next video, I pray your uh, salvation in the Lord. All right, God bless you and farewell.